library staff members told the police they lied on paper, told the police this all because your library is racist and I called them out on the racism. So what was this about? What did you do or not do that, that what, generated what this? Didn't I, what didn't I do? I never, I never sexually harassed anyone. I never stalked anyone and I never harassed anyone. That's defamation of character. You're defaming did my you, character. D- did they say sexual? It says sexual, har- sexually harassing. Stalking, harassing, or sexual harassing. Correct. It's so up it, doesn't, to, it doesn't have to be sexual. It's up to you guys to prove your claim. This is defamation of character. Now, when, when I got the video from the cops, this is all regarding the same thing that we've been complaining about, uh, which is... So this looks like it's a repeat level one and a level two offense. Is what, that correct? What I'm telling so you is... Is there, is there an earlier version of this? No. What I'm simply telling you, so this, this is... is re- not, this is not a repeat? No. This, I just I'm got this today. It. I know what it says. That's why I'm here. They're well, lying, bro. Like It's simple. This is defamation of character because they're lying. This got given to me today. It's not called defamation of character. When I file the lawsuit, it will be. I don't think it's called defamation of character. I don't character. care what if you you're think. The legal guy, you I know am the, the legal guy. When you lie on someone's character with no proof, what proof do you have? Is that called defamation of character? Yes, when you cannot prove what you're okay, saying. you're the legal guy. Yes. I'm not trying to suggest a different Slander thing. also. So, slander, liable, defamation of character. But what I'm here to tell you, because you, okay. you're, you're known to play games. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I see. And we've met before how? Through Boy Johnson. Through he our... told me everything, dude. So, anyways. I see. What we're getting at is. Okay. What are you if getting? I complained about racial discrimination. Sure. Harassment, yes. racial biasness, mm-hmm. and then no one does anything about it at City Hall. I came here. I got the video of me coming here. You guys called the police on me when I came here. This was three months ago. I've come here a total. So is there a question in there, or are you just no, no? I'm I'm, I'm explaining. So I'm explaining. Let, let me explain. You. Go ahead. If you come and you make a complaint, mm-hmm. and you said, "Hey, I made a complaint, and no one did anything." Mm-hmm. How do you know what happened after you filed the complaint? Because the ra- how, I'm, how, I'm going to answer you. Okay. How do I know nothing happened because the racial discrimination continued to happen at the library? That and, means that you guys didn't do anything. Are you considering this racial discrimination? Definitely, because I can't come to a public library for 30 days. For 30 days, I'm excluded from a public library. So why does this, why does that say that this is racial? Because you guys can't prove that I did any of this. I see. So if I did any of this, I would be in handcuffs right now. The cops have already said on video, I have not committed a crime. There's no crime committed. If you stalk somebody or sexually harass somebody, isn't that a crime in Florida? If if you're the legal guy, then I'm sure you know that there are different standards. You don't have to commit a crime to be asked to leave a public. This is absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. Okay. So, so let, let's say that you were having this kind of behavior. What behavior? Where you're loud uh-huh. and you're disrupting people who are trying to use the library. Aren't, aren't we in a confined space? I said, if you're in the library, okay. would you admit with me mm-hmm. that if you were causing a loud scene in the library, mm-hmm. they may ask you to go outside like we did just now to come in here or, or to have a sm- have a... A uh, softer conversation. If that was the case, yeah, but that's not the case. But is that a crime? No, no it's disruptive behavior. No, let me explain what's disruptive. So, so, so I'm you gonna... can you can be asked to leave the library without breaking the law. You would agree with that? Well, it depends on what your rules are. But what we're saying, what well, we're you said, what we're saying okay. is, I'm I'm trying to disruptive. Let me explain what disruptive behavior is. Disruptive uh-huh. behavior is the library throwing the concert. Your library threw a whole concert that had a live band, drums. Guitar. Okay. Disrupting people. You can hear it from the hall. And so how does this affect this? Because you guys are basically lying on black people or colored people saying that they're being loud, right? I'm basically No, not right. Yeah, that's that's what that's what this is about. This has nothing to do with This has everything to do with everything because the cops the cops told me this is what the cops said. Okay. I didn't see anything in writing. This is all I got, bro. This okay. is this is all the cops gave me. This is all they had. Apparently, there's stuff written in the database that's further lying on colored people, saying that colored people are doing all this stuff with no proof. What the cops told me is this is what they said. We got it all on video. Actually, Boy Johnson was there today when I was getting excluded. So the cops tell me that, and, and this lady's there. She's saying that a, a I've staff, been a staff, a staff member. Okay. Yes, she says. Now she was the representative. Quote unquote. She says that I've been harassing their staff because I've called them racist. Mm-hmm. 
I'm like, my response to that was, your whole city's racist. Your library is racist. This is what they said in, I got in, excluded in, in for. In your opinion, sure. This is what I got excluded for. I have, we have it on video. This is what they said I got excluded for. Mm-hmm. Calling your staff members racist. This is, is what, what this said? I haven't had a chance to read this. What I'm this says it. versus what's on my video coming directly from the cops and the lady is two totally different things. This is how it's defamation of character. We, me and Boy Johnson both said to the cops, all five of them that was there, four or five cops plus them, calling someone out on racism is protected under our First Amendment. When I met with the mayor, they are. exactly, repeat that. They are. So. But there's a pl- proper place and a proper time for that. I've done all that before you before so, you came so, in. So so yelling at a staff member. It's not yelling. I never yelled. I never yelled what at a staff say, member. What are you, are you are you saying? That this is a soft voice now. This is a heated conversation based heated. upon the fact that you guys it have excluded me from a public library so for unjust cause. I would suggest to you. That if you're using that tone of voice with a staff member... Were you there? They may choose... Were you gun- there? Was I where? Were you at the library? Have you ever been at the no. library? Have you ever witnessed I've me... Have the library? Have you ever witnessed me talk loudly at the library? You're talking loud right now? Have you witnessed me uh, talking lo- loudly at a library? Point, as an example was, if you're talking with this same tone to a library member, could they take some notice about not being the place to yell... What, loudly talk loudly about being racist. What what if do, I t- do you think that would be a different point of view? What if what if what if I told you that I've never talked loud at a library? What if I told you I go to the library, sit in the corner, and mind my business all the time? What if I, I told you that? Right. I exactly. That, that be because great. that's exactly what I do. I what I'm what I'm simply telling you is your whole city is a lie. You <laughs> guys are racist and black and, and, and people of color. Now, people of and color you've asked if I've talked with Boyd Johnson about that same complaint that he has made. Has he has Boyd Johnson made complaints regarding racism here? I, as we've talked about, he has. Okay, so and this I is not an isolated it. incident. I, I investigated okay. his uh, complaint. Have you found any racism with Boyd Johnson's claims? I did not. Okay, so what we have now is you guys sweeping racism under the rug. Not in but the But it least. stops now. Not in the least. That it is stops. not something that I've said I've swept anything under the rug. So every complaint, mm-hmm. every complaint that Boyd Johnson has given me, every item in his complaint, I've looked at. Do you, I talked to him about Do you know what private. racism is? Yes. So what, what is racism? Jeez, this is the same conversation I had with Mr. Johnson on because Friday. you don't you don't have because a clue what racism what said, is. Here's what I told him, and here's what I'll tell you: mm-hmm. racism, and there are many definitions, as you probably know. The one that I find to be most appropriate are when there are actions or beliefs that are different from one type of individual to another type of individual, whether that be age, whether that be race whether that be religious, there are a variety of things. They're not like Mr. Boy, Mr. Boyd Johnson suggested, based on hatred of race. That is not racism. Hold that thought. Hold on, YouTube. 